Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And before we get started, I just wanna say to anyone out there who is affected by the hurricane, I hope you are staying safe. You are in our thoughts and prayers. And if anyone would like to donate to the hurricane relief, there will be a, a link down in my description box where you can do so. Speaking of natural disasters, we've got a brand new Amberlynn vlog to watch. She is still in Wisconsin visiting Tommy, and it looks like she spent some more time with Alexis and Alexis's significant other. According to the title of this vlog, they went on a double date together. So hopefully we get more than just like a 10 second clip that's already been uploaded to TikTok, but I'm not holding my breath. But if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I look absurdly hectic right now. Um, I'm in the middle of doing my makeup and I'm just like, okay, so she's a dandruff queen, but like she also has a million gray hairs. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting so old. Why? Bitch, you know what? I'm fine with every wrinkle, every gray hair is a blessing. Okay, honestly, don't care about that. If you're worried about dandruff, I don't know, maybe wash your hair more. But let's check out the fit. She's doing the whole sheer top look. That's her favorite new look to do. I don't think it goes that well with this dress. It's okay, but it's not like... I don't know, when she was going through all of her clothes to see which outfit she, want, she wanted to bring to Wisconsin to wear, I was expecting better, I guess, which that's on me. But I'm kind of confused about this top. It looks like there's something underneath the top maybe a tank top or I don't know. It just looks kind of, I almost said hectic, but I stopped myself. I've been watching her too long. No, it, it looks confusing. It looks like it doesn't go together. I don't know, not a fan. Okay, so we're getting ready to go like stay in like a hotel and just have like a night and we're gonna go on like a double date moment. I really don't understand the whole hotel thing. Like, what's the point of getting a hotel room? Usually, I could see people doing that, like, if they have kids and they want to get away for the night. Or maybe they live together and it's their anniversary or Valentine's Day and they just want to do something, like, different, out of the ordinary. But for these two, I don't understand, like, why go stay at a hotel? You have a comfortable home surrounded by your pets you don't have to pack a bag. Like, I don't understand what's so exciting about staying in a hotel room for them. I thought this was so cute because I was putting the stuff in the duffel bag and like, this is my hygiene bag. And then this is hers. Like, isn't it just so adorable? Like our two little aesthetics live for that. <laughs> what adorable. Isn't this just so adorable? What is she talking about? Tommy's hygiene bag looks like an actual hygiene bag and hers looks like some junk you get off of Timu. No offense to any Timu fans, but what's adorable about it? We're doing the valet type deal type sitch right here. Amber, your whole life is a valet type deal type sitch. You get dropped off everywhere you go, but go on. Look at these cute little like seat type deals. Why do I keep saying type deals? I'm so annoying, but look how cute. It's times like this where you really get to see how sheltered Amberlynn has lived her life, how little she has actually gotten out and traveled. Because just picture this, a 35-year-old woman, or 33 or however old, walking around with their phone out recording hotel furniture and being like, oh my God, look how cute. Look at this. Like, girl, it's hotel furniture. It just looks like normal. What are you talking about? Okay, so we're currently trying to figure out what floor our hotel room's at because we checked in, um, what is it? Floor four? Yeah. That's what they said? Okay, so we figured out the room is on floor four, but we were trying to get a higher room because they asked us, like, do you want to be up high? And we said, yeah, so we're going to try to get that fixed real quick. Oh God, I know exactly what the hotel staff is thinking. Five minutes in and these people, this couple is already causing problems. Just go to the room they gave you. What's the big deal? 1404 is what we're looking for. We're, we're gonna be on floor 14 and I'm afraid of heights, folks. Then why did you get it switched to a higher floor? How, am I missing something here? Afraid of heights, but complains that they didn't get a high enough room. Like, make it make sense. Pink duffel bag. Yeah, I do like her pink duffel bag. <laughs> we are way down at the end. 
<laughs> so here's our cute little bed. We have like a little section here with a fridge. Wait, why isn't it opening? Oh, boom. Cute little chairs to sit. This is our view. No, I actually think it's really pretty. Like, look at that sky. And I swear we saw a tornado on the way here, by the way. Just saying. Oh my God, look at how pretty. There's like buildings and highways and it looks like a track. Beautiful, gorgeous. Oh my God, that's your tornado? Really? Okay. And then here is the bathroom. Cute little shower type deal. Toilet, of course. And Amberlynn. Here's a little outfit of the day type deal. Okay, so I'm just doing a little makeup touch. God, we're on type deal overload. But also, can you guys see what I'm talking about with the with the lace top? There's like something underneath it. I can't tell if it's a tank top she's wearing or if it's a whole different dress and she just put another dress on top of it. But either way, I don't like it. I don't think it looks very good. Retouch the lighting in here is so good. Just saying. So first foundation, duh. And I'm looking and I think I need to touch up my eyeliner and my eyebrows. Oh, look, they have this really cool like light or light. This is not light mirror that you can like take out of the wall and like use for your makeup. Oh my God. Wait, living? This girl never met a mirror she didn't love. See what I mean about the not getting out much? Like, I'm pretty sure almost all hotels have mirrors hanging, the, hanging on the wall like this. But she's acting like it's this brand new situation type deal. For that. So. Oh, you supposed to brush your teeth? <laughs> I'm not going to go to the vlog. Bye, guys. I'm going to touch up the rest of my makeup and she's going to brush her chops. Girl, Tommy's looking like she just rolled out of bed. I don't even want to know why, but I just had a thought. Okay, so Amberlynn said in the last vlog that they were at a hotel and she said, we're going to come back in a couple days and stay here. Now at that same hotel, that's where they met up with Alexis and her girlfriend. And now they're at this hotel again, meeting up with Alexis and her girlfriend. So it seems like maybe Amberlynn and Tommy drove to meet up with Alexis and and that's why they had to get a hotel room. Or maybe they met halfway. I don't know. I could be wrong. You guys, I immediately had to show you this. Like through the camera, it's really pretty. But in person, it's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I feel so lucky to be alive. And to be able to witness this. Like, gorgeous. I'm gonna laugh if she says, I feel so lucky to be alive, and then the next scene is like her eating a bunch of food. <laughs> oh my God, did I call that or what? I feel so lucky to be alive. Now let's go get Mexican. I'm recording type deal. Are you? <gasps> Wait, is your voice gonna be in it? I'll edit it out. Okay, so sounds like Alexis is there. And I just think it's funny how Amberlynn's like, oh, it's your voice in the vlog, but I can edit it out. Alexis is immediately like, no, no, you don't have to. No, it's totally fine. Keep it in. You know what? Let's film me while we're at it. Like, come on, Alexis. We know what you're doing, girl. You guys guess who that is right there? <laughs> hectic. Very hectic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think you would be vlogging with Alexis. Oh. <laughs> I would love to know how Tommy feels about hanging out with Alexis after everything that Alexis has said about her. I mean, she's called her abusive, said she had controlling behaviors, that she wanted Amber to move in and pay all the bills. And that's just a few of the things that she said. I think Amberlynn said that Alexis did apologize to Tommy, but still, like, that's got to be in the back of her head how much Alexis trashed her to the internet. <laughs> Of course, can't go out with more drinking. But God, Amberlynn and that cackle. Imagine having to hear that all night long. I would lose my mind. Cheers! 
Oh, wow. Okay, so here is a behind the scenes look. This is what Amber Lynn looks like. If you go hang out with Amber Lynn, this is what you're going to see the whole time. Her with her phone out, having to film everything, constantly thinking about what angle she's getting a view, what she's going to leave in, what she's going to take out for the vlog. Also, look at Tommy's face. She looks so embarrassed, which can't say I blame her. And I wonder what Amber Lynn or whoever took this video, they put that heart emoji on there. I wonder what uh, they don't want us to see. Who was right. in that? Taste test. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> was anyone in that? Hands. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not ready to make uh, a debut. <laughs> Girl, stop. Are you really saying this right now? If you guys missed what she just said, she just asked Amberlynn who was in the video and Amberlynn had to clarify for her. It was just a video of our hands. Don't worry. To which Alexis says, I'm not ready to make a debut. Stop. Come on. Don't even act like you don't want to be part of the vlogs because none of us believe that. You don't go out there and make a whole channel exposing your ex-best friend, their new relationship, your ex-partner, and all the drama that went with it. And then turn around and be like, oh, I'm so shy. Don't put the camera on me. Unless it's like an insecurity about her looks type thing, which that sounds exactly like Amber Lynn. Like, don't put the camera on me. I want to be the one to pick the angles and the lighting and all of that. That that actually is probably more like it. She doesn't want to be filmed because just like Amber Lynn, she wants to be in control of how she looks on social media. <laughs> all right, taste test. It's strong, type okay. deal. Yum. <laughs> oh my god, Alexis cackles exactly like Amber Lynn. Are we in the Twilight Zone? <laughs> Because why are they the same person? Also, I'm totally getting 2018 vibes where they would go out to eat. She and Destiny would go out to eat or she, Destiny, Beck, and Dana would go out to eat. And Amberlynn just had to show what everybody was eating. I always felt like that was her being like, well, I may be eating something not healthy for me. But look, everyone else is too. <laughs> like, I'm not the only fatty in the group. The Tommy Kim. Tommy She's in the gayborhood. We're in the gayborhood. Yeah. It's green. It's so it's, green. I mean, oh, white. I'm not white. used to this life. What? Exercise? Walking around? Going downtown? Being outside? You're not used to that life? Oh, we know, girl. You're getting. See, I hear a whistle. Where is that whistle come from? I don't know. There was a whistle, though. Okay, sorry to keep pausing, but here we have confirmation of the outfit. Remember when I was like, I wonder if this is a dress underneath a dress? Well, that is exactly what it was. For some reason, she was wearing this lace dress with another dress over it. When this dress is perfectly fine to be worn by itself. Seems kind of weird to me, but who am I to question such a fashionista? Oh, we're going to the fluid one? I don't think anything's happening. Oh, gosh. oh the door's open though. You want to see the that? page? Yeah. Stop filming in public restrooms. This is, this is the latest TikTok. <laughs> Girl, the way Alexis is trying to hide behind Amberlynn. Did you guys see that? Now there's a perk of being a friend of Amberlynn that I never considered. If you're insecure about how your body looks, you just hide behind her for pictures. What a life hack. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what up, players? <laughs> My baby. I love you. I love you. Aww. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. Why do you have a weird accent when I say that? <laughs> You're my favorite. What's up? I'm doing a twinkie voice. You're my favorite. Please do, man. Grab your drink. We're walking back to the fireplace. <laughs> Yeesh, and the awkwardness continues. All we ever see from them is like cheek kisses, and it still just looks like a friend kissing a friend on the cheek. Actually, no, I take that back. I have seen friends kiss each other on the cheeks with more chemistry and love in their eyes than these two. Look how cute. This is low key kissing a tootsie. Happy Halloween. Why are you vlogging? <laughs> no, it's when his dick was in my hand. Whose dick was in your hand? His dick was. 
Dusty. Wait, it's Dusty. Oh, that bitch too. That bitch too. It was hectic. He was ready to bring me the coffee ice cream instantly. Yeah. Like, he was like, oh, you like coffee ice cream? Let me bring it to you. Okay, I will say this for them. It does seem like Amberlynn is out having fun. We have never, I don't think ever seen her do this. Maybe once or twice years ago. But the fact that she's out with friends, going to a bar, hanging out, having fun. I do love to see this for her. I think that's good for her. And I do appreciate the fact that she is actually vlogging it and not just telling us about it the next day. So I will give her points for that. <laughs> Okay, I know I didn't say anything about the first one, but now this is the second kiss dodge that we've seen in this vlog. Amberlynn goes in for a kiss and Tommy turns away. Here's the first one. Okay, did you guys see that? Amberlynn went in for a kiss. Tommy did not return it. Now here's the second one. Amberlynn clearly wanted a kiss. She had her face tilted up. They had that look in the eyes and Tommy just turned her head and denied it. This right here is why we say, Tommy is just not that into you, Amberlynn. I don't know what you're doing, but I gotta get it on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she drunk. Amberlynn is drunk, girl. This is great. This is way better than watching her play bingo. Hi, Kevin. What kind of moves are these? She got that finger pointing like, oh yeah, I'm really getting down now. Bye. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> what is this face? Who is this person? I feel like we're getting to see a whole brand new Amberlynn. This must be the new personality, the Tommy era personality. You put that in your vlog. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Why is your like napkin hugging your he, like brought it over like that? God, I hate to keep harping on this, you guys. But look at the way they kiss. Tommy almost acts like it's painful. Like she's forcing herself to kiss on Amberlynn. Let's watch that again. Dude, this right here, this is what I'm talking about. Look at their body language. Amberlynn is leaned over toward Tommy, practically begging her to kiss her, while Tommy doesn't move at all, doesn't lean in, keeps her hands down at her sides. Like if I were just watching this couple from across the bar, I would be like, oh, that poor girl. That poor girl doesn't realize that the other girl is not into her, is not feeling it. I like it. I'm noticing how often these clips are Tommy holding the camera, which again, I appreciate. I'm glad that someone is vlogging and taking videos, but like it's clear Tommy is completely comfortable in front of the camera. And a lot of these clips are ones that look like they were made for TikTok. And I just think it's kind of interesting because people have speculated that she was interested in Amberlynn, not only because of her size, but also because she is is somewhat well known and has a large has a large following much like Tommy's ex-fiance and another person that Tommy was in the DMs of so it kind of feels like Tommy enjoys being in the spotlight a bit living <laughs> living a living a living hey guys so it's been a couple of days since my last clip and I literally <laughs> 
my allergies are bad i just woke up i was actually editing this vlog and i realized i do not have an outro but it's also like perfect timing because i needed to talk to you guys about something oh lord what is she about to lecture us on so i am a little like ahead of vlogging today is actually the 26th of september which is actually mine and tommy's three month anniversary because we started dating on june 26th and I'm pretty sure by early July, she was saying that she only started dating you because she was lonely and she wasn't over her ex-fiance. But do go on. And literally the first time we ever spoke was only June 18th. So we did move pretty quickly. You know, it happens sometimes. Anyways, so what I wanted to talk about was like a lot of people were upset that I brought my pets with me, which is so weird to me because like before I confirmed if I was like bringing my pets or not, people were like, oh my god, Amberlynn's gonna abandon her pets. Like, she's such a bad pet owner. She's so neglectful, etc., etc. Like, literally, no. My pets are my children, so they very much do come with me. Okay, but there's a difference between pets and children. Children, first of all, I don't think that would have been a good idea to bring children with you on a 19-hour car trip. But also, children can get out and move around. They can stretch their legs. They don't have to be cooped up in a cage all that time. Also, there are places where you can board your pets and they will be looked after and taken care of very well. So that's another difference between your pets and children. But even if you want to say that they're the same, okay, let's go with that logic. Let's say you had kids. You could have left your kids with your mom for a few days to go on a trip and then come back. No one said you had to be gone a month or however long you're being gone. And no one said that you shouldn't leave your pets with a loved one or a friend. What people were saying is that you're probably going to abandon them, meaning leave them alone in your apartment with no one looking after them. But go ahead, Amberlynn, spin the narrative, make yourself into the victim. The anxiety and fear and stress they would have had me leaving them alone with strangers would have been far greater than like their in instant like confusion and anxiety of being in a car ride like right at the beginning because like I even said in the vlog when we were traveling that my cats well wasabi was fine like from the very beginning to all the way to the end like i low-key thinks he likes car rides i'm not gonna lie he had no anxiety no stress nothing like even when we got here he loved it oh did he is that what he told you <laughs> give me a break like you know how your animals are feeling this was all about you wanted what you wanted when you wanted it and you didn't care if anyone else had to suffer so that you could get to Wisconsin. And it's funny that we, you said that it would cause them stress to be with left with a stranger. How do you think they felt going to a brand new house, being around a stranger, Tommy? Like, tell me how that was any different than boarding them, other than the fact that you had to throw in a 40-hour car ride round trip. As for Rarity, like, it was literally just the beginning she, because she doesn't like going to the vet and that's usually the only time we're in the car is when we're going to the vet so anyways i think she was just like scared of that but then once the ride like kept going i think it was about i don't know maybe 30 minutes in like she was totally fine like i know my pets more than anyone else i have had twinkie for almost nine years i've had rarity and wasabi for almost eight they are my children they are my everything and i'm not going to leave them Never. Yeah, because you're selfish. You don't want to leave them because it would stress you out and cause you anxiety. You don't give a fuck if it causes them that. It's all about you. I've also had a lot of people sticking up for me saying like, if Amberlynn would have left her pets with someone else, y'all would have been calling her like an abandoner. Is that even a word? An abuser, a neglector, etc., etc. Like... I know my pets and I know what they can and can't handle. Thankfully, like I have an actual cat like traveler thing. So they're able to have their litter box, they're able to have their water, their food. I was checking in on them. And the cat traveler has two levels. So they're able to move, they're able to walk, do whatever they want. Girl, stop lying to us. We all saw those carriers. They were not that big. She acts like the cats had, you know, an entire room to walk around. No, those things were tiny. Those cats were stuck in a tiny little area for 19 hours without a break. I don't care if you say that you know them, that they're your children. They mean everything to you. That was cruel, in my opinion. But no. They're my children. I would never leave them. Like, I feel like when you have pets, you have a very 
big responsibility to make sure that they're safe and protected always and it should be under your care like your pets are your responsibility anyways i shouldn't even have to like talk about this but i just wanted to let you guys know like everything is fine and they actually love it here so that has been like a blessing girl like you would even tell us if they didn't like it there i know like all of you hate me but my pets very much don't like they know that I am here to protect them and take care of them and I love them and they love me. So the anxiety they would have had without me would have been so far greater than anything they experienced on the way here. And I would never do that to them. So anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling about that. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Girl, your pets would have been fine. Like I don't get the difference. If you left them with someone or they are now in Tommy's house, it's the same situation. They're in a new environment. The only difference is you made them sit in a cage for 20 hours, 19 hours ahead of time. You got them nice and stressed out and then we're like, hey, here's a brand new environment with brand new people and brand new pets because Tommy has at least one cat of her own that we saw. Ugh, she's so frustrating. But anyway, you guys, that's the end of her vlog. I will say that I do appreciate that this was actually a vlog. She took us with her places. She told us what she was doing. We got to see her interact with Alexis. She really seemed like she was out there having fun, which was nice to see. We're not used to seeing that with Amber Lynn. I do still think that Tommy is not feeling Amber Lynn. I feel like Tommy is into the whole idea of Amber Lynn. Uh, in my opinion, her body more than her personality. I think Amber Lynn is trying to look at this as like the love of her life and someone who she's going to be with forever. Whereas for Tommy, I think she looks at it as more of like a rebound and just maybe like a fun fling. But anyway, I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on things. Again, if you would like to donate to the hurricane relief, a link will be left in my description box. But I hope you guys had fun watching this with me. I had so much fun watching it with you. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave me a comment down below.